It's come to my attention that there's a lot of the newer GTEC printers that are coming out. And there's been a, quite a few complaints where the spring for the extruder is just not tight enough to, to hold tension against the, I believe it's called a hob bolt. That's the little gears that hold the, the filament that to actually drive it down and through the through the extruder. Um, so what I'm going to do is I wanted to, I designed this uh, little uh, I call it a shim or a space or whatever you want to call it. They'll actually fit at the bottom of the spring, give it a little bit more tension. I'm going to print it out really quick here and uh, I'm not even going to worry about time lapse to be honest with you because it's it takes like two minutes to print. So let me get the printer warmed up and I will be right back with you. Okay guys, so I'm just priming the nozzle, uh, getting it ready. Uh, this is going to be printed with uh, 3D4 Makers uh, PETG. I'm not doing it specially because of this, it's just what I had loaded in the printer. So I just wanted to do this really quick print. And this prints at uh, 236 degrees on this particular machine. You know, if this goes right, I'm just going to call this my five minute fix. <laughs> yes, from beginning to end, that's probably what's about what, how long it's going to take to print this. Print wise, it's supposed to take about two minutes. And then uh, after that, it's just a matter of installing it, which is a, it should be a very simple installation. Now, my printer, I don't have the problem with the spring, but I just wanted to go ahead and use this as my guinea pig so I can prove that it actually works. <laughs> And in case you're fairly new to the channel, this is my uh, GTEC Aluminum Prusa i3. This was my very first printer I received. I, I picked it up back in uh, February of uh, 2016. And that's the, the machine that got me started into 3D printing and, and YouTube altogether. I've done quite a few upgrades to it. I have my anti-wobble brackets, which uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description if you're interested in that. It's the fastest, cheapest way of, of getting rid of the Z wobble if you have Z banding in your in your prints. It uh, does wonders with it. And you don't have to worry about buying the new bolts for it and, and all the, or the lead screws and all that. It saves you some time and money that way. Okay, so it's already 37% done, so it's it's getting close. <laughs> It's not a very very long print at all. It's actually printing fairly slow mainly because of the cooling between layers. If it wasn't for that it would be going a lot faster. And the way I designed it is I just made it where it's a circle uh, to fit underneath the base of the spring. And then the center of it, I used a cone and Tinkercad, added that to the circle, and that's that's exactly how it was made. Just two parts and Tinkercad. There's a very simple design to it. Okay, it's just about done. There it is. Took a total of three minutes to print. Okay, so I'm going to let this cool for a moment, and then I'll take it off the bill plate, and I'll show you how to install it. Okay, so that's all it is. Let's see if I can get it where you can actually see it. It's just a very simple, small piece. And I don't have a screwdriver with me, so I'm just taking an old beat-up knife that I happen to have here on the desk. 
pry it up out of its little saddle and then that brings the spring forward and go ahead and just pry it out a little bit further there we go okay so what happens is then you just set that right inside the bottom of the spring like that up here there's a little little piece that sticks down take that press the spring up into that piece then press your spring up so that the base of this piece there flops right down inside there and now it just increased the tension by quite a bit like I said I don't need it on this one so I'll end up taking it back out because it already had a lot of tension to it but that thing's got a lot more tension than what I had before <laughs> But if you're looking for a quick fix for an extruder that's clicking and you've, you feel that the spring just hasn't got enough tension to it, that's a quick way of checking it out. Um, one thing I do recommend too, if you are having a lot of problems that way, is to clean your uh, the gear that's located inside your extruder. And the way you do that is you just take an Allen wrench. Let me find out what size it is here real quick. So it's going to be a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Remove the two bolts. And all MK8s are the same way. So it doesn't matter if it's in the, the GTEC Aluminum Prusa I3 or the Pro C or the um, what's the, the Me Creator 2. They're all going to have the same, same setup. You're going to have the fan with the two bolts stick through it. You're going to have this piece here, and then you're going to have, let me just go ahead and remove this from the tripod here. You're going to have that gear assembly right there. And you can see where the, the filament goes right between those gears right there. There's actually one, it's like a drive wheel in the back, it's got a V-groove, but this right here, that gets caked up with some of the PLA or different materials that you print with. That could very well be what the, the problem is. And as you can see, there's that piece that I printed and stuck in there. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Have a good one. Take care. Bye. Hey, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell, too. That way you'll get notified when a video comes out. If you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page. You can support the channel from there. And if you'd like to watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you'll love them. Yeah, I think you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.